The Taliban have ordered an immediate and indefinite ban on university education for women. Thousands of Afghan girls sat university entrance exams just three months ago. The ban is the latest of many restrictions on women's rights. Most girls are already barred from secondary school education. And journalist Ali Latifi joins me now from Kabul. Ali, are you surprised at all by this move? Um, you know, th there's been talk about something like this happening for weeks, months, and it's one of those things you don't want it to be true. And so even when th the interesting thing about it is that the news really broke later in the evening around 8 8 30 in the evening so it seemed very odd for people that you know such an edict was coming out essentially in the middle of the night um not early in the morning not even in the afternoon so that initially created a lot of suspicion but you know within minutes it became very evident that no this was legitimately what people have been fearing for the last you know, year and a half uh, since the Islamic Emirates, since the Taliban returned to power. So it's one of those things, it's not surprising, unfortunately, given their track record, but maybe in the way it happened and just, you know, obviously when it happens, it will be a surprise to people no matter when or how it occurs. Yeah. Uh, why are we seeing this now? You say that there was discussion about it for months, fears, of course, ever since mm -hmm. the Taliban returned to power. This is exactly this is the question, right? Uh, that, uh, as you all said earlier, you know, thousands of girls sat for the university entrance exam. I interviewed them. You know, they had sat for it in several different provinces. Uh, education officials bragged. You know, Taliban education officials bragged that so many uh, young women were were sitting for university uh, entrance exams, and really the the timing why it's happening, how it's happening. There's still no clear answer. There's just a lot of guesses and conjecture, but really amongst the people, it's anger, it, it, it's upset because their whole thing has always been, you know, if you claim to be an Islamic emirate, why are, why are you not following the rules and teachings of Islam? Because there's nothing in, you know, Islamic teachings that would forbid anyone, uh, male or female, from being educated or, you know, for going to work or, you know, going to, because they're not allowed in most workplaces, for going to parks and hammams, which have been recently banned to girls and women. Um, and, and so the question keeps coming back to people is, if you claim to be an Islamic emirate, why are you doing the most un-Islamic things? Yeah. Uh, the Taliban promised to allow girls to go back to school. Now they are banned from schools and universities. Is the Taliban leadership possibly divided over the treatment of women? It's very clear that they're divided because if, if you look at it, you know, you have high ranking officials who have said things like we need to restart the, the you know, the secondary uh, school for girls in 32 provinces out of the 34 where it's not allowed at the moment. Um, you know, saying that women are an, uh, are an uh, important part of society and, you know, you know, they have uh, economic fairs and, and business fairs of, you know, female entrepreneurs, but how are you going to continue? to have these if, if you are not allowing women to be educated who will be a female entrepreneur you know two three five years down the line if you cannot have a university education you know um, or even really a high school education so it, it, there's this really weird back and forth among the Taliban where on the one hand you have people who say things like oh we're not keeping women from doing certain things or we're not as strict as we used to be or you know our edicts are being misunderstood or we want to create more of a role for women but nothing they've done has actually shown that is there any hope for improvement in the future the only hope is if the taliban realizes that as the people say that everything that they're doing is un-Islamic. And if they realize that, you know, they are failing in the same way that the former Islamic Republic failed, which is by not understanding the Afghan people at all and by assuming that what they envision as a way of life for the Afghan people is what the people want, uh, which is the exact same thing that led to the downfall of the former Republic and led to so much distrust uh, among the former Republic. And unfortunately, it seems as if the Taliban's Islamic Emirate is treading the same path. Ali Latifi in Kabul, many thanks for your time.